I last wrote a poem of kisses, of lips, of tongues, of speaking with touch, and how it's my favorite thing to kiss and to tell what I'm bursting to say, but can't find in words, so I kiss. I kiss and I kiss and I kiss once more until you understand every last part of me. But though kissing is a language in which I am fluent, I will never deny the power of hands, of holding them, feeling them, allowing them to dig into you, tap rhythms on your tendons, write poems in your tissue, tear out the cancerous parts of yourself. Your hands are powerful. Flex them and stretch them, test their ability to shape. They are tools. They deserve your respect. How else can you learn the landscape of the earth where you live, the self you have created, the bodies that house souls you like nothing more than to touch? Hands, like a door, can be opened from either side. To touch is to be touched. And in feeling your world, you sacrifice some part of yourself to the flesh. Barriers do not exist in the act of touching. Vulnerability is a hand's natural state. Spread your fingers wide, sink them into the soil of existence, grow your life from their seeds, and when I offer you my hand, I hope you understand that I offer you myself, and humbly request your hand in return.